goodness. We go. There we go. All right, everyone. Time for some Titanfall 2 multiplayer. And we're going to be taking a look at Amped Hardpoint. Now, I'm going to run through what Amped Hardpoint is for anyone who may not be aware. So, Hardpoint from Titanfall 1. You know, we all know, we all love the game type, right? It's essentially King of the Hill, uh, where you move into the point, you control it. But Amped Hardpoint requires you to stay in the point for as long as you possibly can, and you earn double the points in that time frame. And, th and that just really encourages team play and actually playing for the objective, which is something that not necessarily all game modes do. You do get that guy maybe sitting in the corner. He's going to be punished it. He doesn't get away with that in time for two. You're already seeing the back-to-back -back action kicking off. All points really bring a lot of pressure. The gamers are they're pretty ready for this. They've been getting themselves set up, pumped up for this one. And the map looks gorgeous. Let's be honest here. If you played the original Titanfall, you got used to seeing you know, the verticality coming in. The maps still hold up here in Titanfall 2. Oh, 100%. One, We're actually going to be taking a look at Darkness429 now. For those of you guys who may not know, Darkness pretty much made his channel on Twitch off of the backbone of Titanfall. I would use to tune, I tuned into this dude mm. when Titanfall first came out. Absolutely incredible player and you know he's known for his uh, for his keyboard and mouse skills but yet don't let it don't get it twisted people he's equally as talented with the sticks with the controller and now we have point B being taken over here as they're looking to get this control down now let's take a look at this map as well as to what we're seeing so far a couple of nades coming out but really, it's, the map progression is lovely. It looks like B is the more contested point. That's kind of the 50-50 split here. Already one team does have a lockdown on that. And you can see Jericho doing some damage in the background, already picking up a couple of kills. One towards Cartoons there. And again, B yet to be fully captured, still having a couple of players trying to go back in for it, but it is open. And that's where you might start seeing those Titans, once they get called in, just turning the tides here. But it's still quite early into the game. And here's the thing, we were just checking out Darkness. Uh, we're looking at Darkness right now, and, and they're in a bad position here. 114 to 77. Titans haven't come out yet, and that's when the action gets hot and heavy. But they're, they do not have possession of B and C point, and currently they're being amped up, which means they're earning double the points and just continuing to add on to that scoreboard there. You can see uh, our, our team here coming right back into the action. Sniper with Jericho and the crew. Yeah, and you can see a little bit of a disparity. Some players, some going... For the aggression, trying to go for those player kind of, uh, I guess, battles. Vic start coming out the victor in that one too. And you're seeing a real composition of difference of weaponry. Although at the moment the R201 does seem to be a little superior in this kind of close combat. It's got a nice touch of range to it too. But I know players will have their specialties in this. I felt the brunt of those SMGs, those snipers coming through as well. They certainly have their place here. Yeah, and of course taking a look here at Sniper, who's going to be using the Spitfire. And the Spitfire, it's it devastatingly strong SMG. Dare I say it's actually like one of the better guns in the game. One of my favorite guns to use, actually. Uh, very, very vicious weapon and in the hands of the right person can do a lot of work here. Nate's flying in all over the place. Sniper Wolf has to stay alive here as she is looking to amp this hard point now. Making progress over though. Vic Star is going to get the pick there on Swifter. He will not be able to stay alive there. Jericho will pick up a kill of his own on I, I think that was Timefall Legends there. And now we're on board with Darkness. Just picked out Speedy, but Jericho makes short work of him. And that's the B point all over. It's action-packed non-stop. And I think we're going to see the first Titan coming in, actually. You can see it being called down right here, but already a couple of issues coming through. This is not going to be easy. It's going to be contested. Players are going to struggle to get themselves in that. It is going to be fought over. But there you see it. The first Titan has entered the battle. Here we go. And I believe this is going to be Vicstar's uh, Titan here, if I'm correct. Yes, this is going to be Vixar Titan, so he is uh, going to do a lot of work here. Keep in mind, the other team has not been able to pull out their first Titan as of yet. Trying to grab a hook onto the Titan, though, uh, for that time being, as we jump over to some action. As things calm down here on the side, just trying to get control of the situation, Vixar finds X-Factor and a rodeo as well. So this is not going to look good. You can pull out one of those battery cores, and that will not be a good look here. Swifter goes in for the rodeo as well. This is not looking good for Vicstar and his Titan, although he is still able to pick off a kill there on X-Factor. Smart work from him, though, to disembark from the Titan, kind of pull himself back in. He's unable to take those rodeoing players down. He's still struggling from that. He's going to take damage over time from this, but already you can see oh. the effect this can have. But there is another Titan on the field as well. You're seeing similarities here, though. If you play Titan for one, you're going to see the Vortex Shield. You you saw it just up then as well, and there's that grappling hook. That's what we wanted to see. How does that allow the players to get towards these times? You can see once again the movement so fluid, so aggressive, and already the punish coming out from Alley either. 
Yeah, and keep in mind, Darkness right there was actually trying to grab a hook onto the Titan because, as Drew had alluded to before, you can grapple the Titan, you can grapple your own opponents. You actually saw that in the first trailer that we saw for Titanfall 2, and that was actually pretty hype as well. I, I, I squealed like a, like a little child. So, you know, I think that is just a couple of the elements that the grapple hook brings to the table here. Keep in mind, there are different, uh, you know, equipables that you can use as well. There's the grapple hook, there's the, uh, the pulse knife, there's, there's a variety of different weapons that you can use to your advantage to be able to give you an advantage on the field. Yeah, we haven't really seen much from the pulse blade just yet, pulse but blade, if you're yeah. unfamiliar, it's very similar to almost a UAV style. It does reveal certain positions, but only a very small area. It has to be thrown out by the player. It's player generated almost in that aspect. Again, though, these times keep coming in on this B point and it's still being pretty dominant. Vixar's having a wonderful run here. He's had this tie a good couple of times now. He's uh -oh. the one playing without, and oh, here comes the challenge. This is not going to look good here. Vixar is pushing in on X Factor. X Factor's in the world of hurt. Is he going to go? Oh and he grabs God. the arm. He goes in for the leg and absolutely decimates him. What a play there. Vixar, look at his face. Just pure excitement. It's like a boy in Christmas. Oh, my goodness. What a play. What an absolute beast. That's going to open up so many opportunities now. Being able to take away a time like that is massive. There's two of them currently up for one team. Merely one for the other. And funny enough, the team that's leading have two on the field. It generally just means you're doing better. However, the grapples are coming in. People are challenging this. They're not going to let these guys get away with murder right now. They want to allow them to get back in. And even those infantry soldiers on the ground, those pilots are going to be struggling. You can see the vulnerability spots, but you can't break them down so easy. Yeah, Darkness ended up uh, picking up Zed there. Vixar now looking to do some more damage, switching over to Darkness, who pops out that Vortex Shield and looks to go in with the Laser Core. Laser Beam from the chest. Can Darkness survive as he pushes forward? Goes in for the melee one more time. Vixar's a savage, absolutely decimating his opponents, and he is at critical state, has to abandon his Titan, but the damage has been done. Cartoons gets the kill. But oh my goodness, Lauren, that was awesome. You know what, Vicstar may not be a superstar outside of that, like some others up there, but in game right now, he is the superstar. He's playing out of his mind. You're going to see another time coming through. I think that's actually Zed's coming up here, so he's going to get a chance to maybe get some revenge on what happened before. He's got a little bit of shield now to himself as well. However, look at those points. They are starting to build up. One team is really closing into this one. It's not far off from the, from the victory. And well, let's see if they can pull this one back from the brink. Yeah, this is not looking good here. And, and just to keep in mind, too, you, you're seeing these different Titans, right? The Titan you see right here it's is done. actually called Scorch. And that is going to do it. GG as uh, our first game is in the books. But I, I just wanted to highlight the different Titans because they're so cool. There's Ion, which you actually see cartoons wielding right now. Yep. And then there's Scorch. Ion has a Vortex Shield, has the Laser Core. Meanwhile, Scorch is the one you saw in the trailer pretty much roast everyone. We'll dive into a little bit more of like what they're capable of doing. But needless to say, you can create some cool combos. Exactly. Now it's time for the great escape, however. The losing team does have to try and escape the battlefield. However, the team with the advantage can take down that escape ship and they can punish them on the way out. You can see it. They, the, the objective now is to intercept anyone trying to escape. They're all going to position for this one, and it's punishing. It's brutal. You feel under pressure. You feel every second this comes in. So again, it's not easy to make out of this. And the time's running down here. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, another thing you could do that is back from uh, Titanfall, the original game, is, of course, destroying the ship. Which, uh, they're, you know, one thing I noticed, they're a little bit resilient. Oh, <laughs> Timefall Legends just ran in with a melee on Vicstar. Did not expect that. He's trying to get away, and they are going to be able to do so, despite having four Titans. Alie and Vicstar with huge performances there. 19 and, what was that, 14 kills there? Or 17 kills. On the other side, Darkness and Cartoons were the superstars for their team, but they fall 400 to 283. Yeah, Ali then, or Ali A, was a little bit of the unsung hero in that one. We, we got to see a lot of Vic start throughout that, but actually Ali A was pulling his weight and then some. Yeah. Once it felt as though he got the time behind him, he was able to really get back into that battle. And you saw how hard they were having to contest that B point. Again, it does seem as though that's a really, really contested point throughout this map. And it seems so ready for those times to play in. But the one thing I've got to say is, you know, I'm a fan of the pilot gameplay here. I'm, I'm all about that kind of gunplay in that aspect. And you can see it's still being relevant even with those Titans on board. That's the one yeah. thing I loved about Time for One, was the fact that you never had the issue of going, oh, how do I get back into it? Once those Titans come down, what can I do? You knew what to do. Now you've got that grappling hook as well. There's so many options. So yeah, this is 
this is going to be pretty fun, I can imagine, throughout the day. Yeah, I mean, at, at the end of the day, right? I mean, this is a, a, a fun experience, right? Uh, mm-hmm. To be able to play this game for the viewers at home and, and, you know, have it be commentated by myself, a global icon and a national treasure, which I don't blame them, you know the what I mean? I would, the legend. I would, I, I would love that as well, you know? I, I, it's, it's an incredible experience. No, but in all jokes aside, though, uh, I think the, the cool part about this is mm-hmm. that, you know, Titanfall has always had a very interesting challenge of balancing out the different kinds of... Uh, being, you know, a pilot, which I enjoy doing in the original Timefall, but after seeing how the Titans play in this one, so unique, I legitimately enjoy every single bit of it. And it did seem as though Jericho there going on the early punish, already finding a couple of the opening kind of kills here at this point, looking to do some more damage though, already off the back. Although the high ground is being held by Darkness, and this is something that's actually very intrinsic to Time for One, is if you hold high ground through the maps, you do have just a brilliant way of playing out. Now you can couple it with the movement, it does change up a bit. I can imagine the players will be looking to how they can exploit that down the line, really find punishing aspects. But we haven't seen much of the wall running, which is something that I really want to see. These sort of movement elements, as any sort of hardcore FPS gamer, become incredibly exciting. That sort of stuff, that sort of gameplay element, gets people ticking. And already you're going to see a bit of a disparity in the score. We've got a... Th- a three cap lockdown pretty much yeah all under wraps this is not a good start not at all this is not a good look by any means whatsoever cartoons is going to be in a world of hurt as they back away trip cap in effect here uh no points are amped just yet so that means they're not going to be earning double but despite that still a lot of points on the board and you also notice that uh you know that spitfire seeing quite a bit of usage big star by the way already with a great star picking up six kills for his efforts yeah, and I was always a huge fan of, you know, going on the flank, trying to play for those back caps, basically, working your way around the map. It, it is, it, you know, it's viable, but you have to hope your teammates are locking things down, and you're gonna, I'm hoping to see a couple of players going for that, finding their own routes around this map. A bit of a detonate there to buy some time for the reload. Again, the player's already picking up on factors that it takes a lot of people normally to pick up on, but Cartoons is on the receiving end of a lot of pain here, but actually not going to get closed down on. Zed, however, is finding darkness in the meantime, and a bit of a trade-out as Vicstar will avenge his fallen teammate and keep things at least pretty interesting. All right, and uh, Dark Skin just eating that nade as well. He has to be very careful as he finds Cartoons in front. That's an easy pick for him as Cartoons was uh, pretty weak there. Mm-hmm. Now another one, Ali A, oh, easy pickings right. as well. Pops up right behind him. Another one in the ravine. Now that's going to be Jericho. He's in a bad position. But despite that, though, it seems like someone else was actually throwing shots down at Darkness and made him have to back away. Yeah, the one thing with Darkness I'll say is maybe his aim's not the, you know, the most pinnacle point of his play, but for me, it's more his positioning. He finds these great positions to really work for his team and then also punish the teammate trying to push up to the point. And Ooh. I don't know how long you think your legs are, but they're not that long. You're not going to get away with that, Darkness. However, again, let's take a look at this score because it is one-sided. Yeah, I mean, he tried to move in there for some uh, sweet chin music, Ooh. Shawn Michael style. Didn't find it. So, you know, I mean, we all make mistakes. Also, uh, <laughs> right now you're going to see, I believe this is uh, Timefall Legends, mm-hmm. who is using the Kraber, which is a very, very powerful sniper rifle. I was actually watching uh, Legion the other day. He he was putting some clips together of uh, some, some shots he was getting with the sniper. Pretty impressive stuff, what you can do with that gun. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to seeing, like, what, what content people can create with it, because you can get some nasty shots. Ali A now is going to find Vic Star, and that's going to be a solid pickup with the R201 as they hold A and C. But now the fight for C begins as all these players, Zed and Ali A, are going to push in and try and charge as much as they can, but that won't matter because X Factor is going to be there for a double with the grenade on Ali A and Zed. Yeah, a little bit of, I think that was almost a team kill at that point as well, but spamming out those nades buys you time. It allows you to get greater positions, a pretty much a classic kind of FPS mechanic, and you can see it represented here very, very well. It plays incredibly well, may I add, towards those close-range areas. So let's take a little peek at Zed here, see what he's up to. Again, he's got a good shot towards Darkness, but he can't end it. He can't finish off the kill. However, Jericho will pick up the slack and do the damage for him. However, when you're in those lower points, when you're in that sort of, I guess, defilade almost, and the higher ground's held by others, you're going to get punished for it. That's right. That is right. C has now been picked up as well. 118 to 176. But you know what, though? You have a lead that is continuing to build up here, and it is certainly not looking good. Big Star finds one in front. This is going to be Zed able to pick him off. Zed was just not aware of what was going on. Meanwhile, Titanfall Legends finds one. X-Factor, though, with the immediate cleanup as soon as he got that pick. And now we're uh, getting ready here as a trip cap is in effect. This is not looking good for Darkness. X-Factor and his crew. But let's also look at the percentage on getting those Titans into the battlefield. That can change everything at this point. We've seen it before. That B point becomes incredibly contested. You can flank around the back and a bit of a spree already coming out. I'm actually quite surprised we haven't seen any Titans yet. 
Like, in the last game, at this point, around five minutes in, we had, uh, I think, like, our first Titan at the very least. Yep. But it seems like uh, either the players are just prioritizing pilot play a little bit more and not opting to use the Titans until it's absolutely necessary. Also, keep in mind, too, and there you go. So if you're the losing team, you, you, you kind of want to bust out the Titans because it can give you a little bit more presence, right, on the field. Um, of course, if you are on the other team, right, you want to save those for the absolute imperative moment. So perhaps that's what's <laughs> going on. Swifter, try again, buddy, as Vixar just absolutely decimates him with that splinter oh rifle. Moves God. in with the cannon as well. He just stood no chance there. That was nasty. Yeah, I love anything like that. Almost like a rail gun coming through. No chance of escape. A lovely way to finish off that initial damage. But let's see where we're going to go. It's Speedy actually coming up here again. Very close to getting his... No. Um, oh, no, no, Speedy! No, no bad timing. Why did we switch? Bad timing. Why did we switch? That, was, that was an epic fail. Oh, man. Just going too fast, you know? <laughs> Got to go fast in these situations. When you speed. <laughs> Speedy was just the memes. moving too fast, man. He was moving too fast. Funny moments. Oh, man. By the way, the, the weapon that you saw Ion use, that particular mm -hmm. Titan, was actually called the Laser Shot. Um, it's shoulder-mounted laser. Uh, can just zap pilots in the air. Very effective weapon, as you saw. Uh, so expect to see more of that. And I'm expecting to see a lot of players take advantage of the laser shot in the technical test. Uh, now over to X Factor here as they contain points B and C, but both of them are being challenged here. Jericho now, there's no idea what's going on. Losing half of his HP, and that's an ion battle here. So he's going to try and see if he can soak out as many shots as he possibly can. Meanwhile, Zed is going to be rodeoing on top of X Factor. X Factor needs to figure out what he wants to do as he has about half health remaining. Here comes Zed, Zed again, who gets right back on top, throws down a grenade. This could very well be mm. curtains for X Factor if he's not careful, but... Despite that, though, Vicstar's Titan is actually going to get the, the pick, not Vicstar himself. Yeah, currently we have two Titans on the battlefield coming in for these guys, which is a lot. Now three against the other two. You can see it there on the UI. You can see what you're up against at this point. And this is going to become Titan on Titan action. This is where you're going to see that heavy throwdown between these guys. The yep. points become a little more ground out. You can't just quickly pick up these. It does become tougher. And I think Zed, actually, off the back of what he was achieving before, now has his Titan too. Yeah, there's a, it's a 3v2 as far as Titans are concerned. Uh, oh, no. Darkness trying to throw down, uh, you know, that Vortex shield. And a laser shot coming in. And, you know, very impressive out of Zed, I have to say, who's been holding his own in this game. Darkness is getting pegged in a bunch of different oh, directions. Great uh, but you notice what he's doing, though. He's actually luring out the, uh, you know, his combatants here, Zed and them. <laughs> he's forcing them to have to get into a really bad position. But Zed beats him no. with his own leg. Bye-bye, Darkness. That is it, and <laughs> you can see the look of disappointment on his face. He's like, I can't, I can't believe I just, that just happened to me. Uh, but you know what, though? Despite that, five Titans out on the field right now. This is looking very, very good uh, for our winning team here. Yeah, it's, it's looking terrifying for the other side. You, you feel so cornered, so trapped here. There's certain ways to approach it, but with so many players in this one, we're seeing really diligent play, actually, from, from some of these Titans. They, they are not going down without a fight. And I love watching that sort of thing. Sniper Wolf actually doesn't have their Titan out at the moment, and that's the only player who doesn't on this side of this team. So again, still providing that kind of pilot cover coming out, and the points are closing out towards the end here. This is going to be a, a pretty much a last-ditch attempt. Again, two more times come out oh. for the side, but the damage is not subsiding. <laughs> Look Kaku at the damage! is getting melted. 3v1 is not a situation you want to be in, and it's brutal, and it's done. Oh, my goodness. He destroyed him with that laser core, and that will be it. 392, I mean, they have two points in control right now. Only a couple remain. That is GG Game 2 in the books. But, man, that was awesome. Ooh. Some great uh, you know, late Titan action, though, I have to say, because we were going for quite a while before those Titans came out. But once they came out, you really started to see the, the pace of the game changed completely. And now it's time for the escape phase here for our losing team. Yeah, do you think they can make it out at this point? That's the problem. There's still two Titans up here, so the damage can come towards the actual ship itself. How is it going to come down to pretty much pilot play and already a good couple of pieces coming out very nicely into the winning side's favor, which is going to make it incredibly hard to make the escape. Again, you only have very limited opportunities to try and get this one done. And the Incept logo is up. You can see it there on the UI itself. You can see that they're all running in towards it. And Darkness has been a real hindrance towards the other side. He has been a beast at this point, but Sniper Wolf over there trying to hunt down that remaining couple of players, see if anyone's going to dare try and make it towards the ship. And at the moment, that ship is getting broken, and it's done, and it's dusted. Vixar with 26 pickups, 26 kills, Darkness with 16, a solid performance mm. across the board.
as we get ready for game number three. So far, this has been pretty freaking awesome. Yeah, it's been amazing. Say. Like, I, I don't think it's just us enjoying it as well. You can see these guys down there having a great time. And that's what it's all about. You know, the thing for me at its core with Titanfall is the fact that the gameplay itself is actually incredible. Yeah. And it's no lie. I, it appeals to a lot of people, whether you're more of a fan of you know, going in the Titans, or you're a fan of the movement, where you're a fan of just simple you know, gun gameplay. It, it just appeals to a lot of people, and it got the attention of a lot of the, you know, the hardcore audience who sits there and kind of you know, brushes off most games. where they saw Titanfall, and they're like, this, this is good. This is good. And now yeah. Titanfall 2 is looking even better. It's refined a lot of the issues it seems that the other game had, and we're seeing, again, these really good battles going down. And I love the way the whole landscape changes once you get those Titans out, once you see these monsters kind of approach the field. And, well, already one team really just nail it then. I, I mean, the, the cool part about uh, Titanfall is, you know, Titan priority, right? You want to be able to, like, manage when you bust out the Titan, yeah. when you can actually, you know, begin your pushes. Uh, it's very imperative, right? You don't just want to, like, get the Titan and be like, oh, cool, Titan, let me go ahead and drop it down. No, I mean, granted, go ahead and do that if you really want to do that. Um, but Wouldn't if you want to work with your team <laughs> and not lose your Titan right away, it's, it's much better for you to be able to work together as a team to be able to make this happen. Our third and final map of the day here, folks, for Titanfall 2. But of course, don't fret because you guys will be able to play the technical test, which will be happening this weekend. So all that you're seeing right here, you'll be able to play very, very soon, which is very exciting. Yeah, and this map is gorgeous as well. This is one that I'm a big fan of already, just seeing how this plays out. It's, it looks like almost pilot-heavy map. Swift are having a fantastic angle on that, just strafing around the corner, taking out cartoons. And let's pick it up with him, actually. Let's see from his perspective how he now gets back into the game. Ali A around the back, though, not going to allow him to get away with that. The punish comes through, and you've got to be careful in this area. You do not have the high ground. You do not have that advantage at all to your favor. We are seeing a bit of the wall running coming out, but maybe not to their advantage. <laughs> and, and remember, folks, the B point is going to be in infantry heavy because you can't actually uh, shoot into the point. It's a bridge and it has unbreakable glass. So you cannot shoot. You can see people in the point, but if you're smart, you can actually amp up and continue to stay in this matchup. Uh, you know, granted, A and B is going to go to Vicstar and his crew as we jump over to his perspective now. And Jericho going for the challenge, but is going to save his teammate Swifter as the pressure is now going to be coming from Seaside. Oh, Cartoons, though, getting hit with that long-range R201. And this is certainly not looking good here for, uh, you know, for Swifter at the very least. But it yeah. seems like Vicstar is just going to push over to the left side. Find Jericho in front of him. That's going to be an easy pickup with the R201. Yeah, Vicstar has been an absolute beast so far in this one. And I can imagine we'll be seeing more of that again here. However, the points are being contested. You can see them running back in and out, trying to get this one started up, trying to pull the scoreline a little more even because at the moment, it's far from it. And there's that grapple hook again, just kind of covering the terrain a little bit quicker, creating other opportunities now, trying to peer down. Not going to find too much. I think you can just see the very edge of one. I think that's actually Ooh. time for Legends there. Going in on the melee. Spray and pray. Didn't work for punished. you there, buddy. <laughs> Not going to happen. <laughs> Not going to happen. And, and, and another thing too, uh, Lauren, I want to mm. point out, you see a lot of players grappling and then kind of just staying on the ground yeah. you really need to rely on your momentum the grapple is a is a unique layer and a unique skill in itself and uh for darkness though throwing grenades is not a skill that he has uh because he ended up tossing that one against the wall there but you know we all make mistakes meanwhile x factor easy pickings there because darkness was weakened from both of those grenades and a class change here as well well you know when you're having a bad game it's always nice to blame the class that's yeah. what i tend to do it's like up. Oh, my gun must be broken. There must be something wrong with it. Cause I'm that's not how you use the grapple hook, guys. I've told you before, you can't just put it on the ground in front of them and hope for the best. It's not that type of game. You've got to use it correctly because the lockdown is coming out at the moment. And even though the points are actually starting to become a little bit more even, the disparity is starting to kind of wear away. There's still one team in the lead here. That could change around, however. Well, if the other team is able to pick up that B point and amp it up, they should be able to uh, get right back into this game here. They're down by, you know, by a considerable amount, you know, about, what is this, what, uh, 30 points now? So it is very doable. We, yeah, you know, and it also <laughs> you got to do math when they're, like, in intervals of, like, 10, uh, or else, you know, people will realize that I have the education of a five-year-old. Um, <laughs> I'm English, come on. I just think I'm intelligent because my accent is terrible. <laughs> Granger. No. I, have, I, don't, I don't have that, so I have none of that going for me. <laughs> okay, I'm at a disadvantage. 
But this Green is what we're talking about here as well. With that B point, it is close range. It's all about that pilot combat in there. And you're seeing the grenade used to how I actually like to use it. Not as necessarily a mechanic to take down the opponents, but to buy time to allow you to get the dominant angle and start to peek out as well. This guy's going to get information here. He's in a very safe spot. Has to be careful of his flanks. Of course, the grenades again trying to flush Ooh. him out here. He's got to be careful. He's got pressure now coming in left, right, and center. Going to put down the nades, buy a little time, hope for, pray for regen at this point. Going to back oh. away. And he even finds one swifter. You've got to be quicker on the trigger than that and a little bit smarter as already he gets punished by that nade being trickled out. Yeah, X Factor there. Uh, couldn't, stay, uh, couldn't stay alive long enough. Ali, uh, no, this is going to be Darkness, as a matter of fact. Finds Titanfall Legends, but Swifter will pick him off from behind there. And 97% here on Jericho's Titan as he's getting ready to drop it is. the first one, potentially. Uh, but they don't have that B point, and that Titan won't actually help all that much on the B point. Because it is so pilot focused, you want to be able to push in and get some kind of control there. Oh, wait a minute, though. Player's going to be right to his right side. Now it's going to be Victor. It's okay. It's okay, Jericho. <laughs> we, we don't judge. I mean, we do, but. Yeah, I think he goes chip tooth in that sort of situation. That's got to hurt. But still, he's <laughs> going to call in that Titan. And he's going to wait on that one. I can't really blame him. Again, the other times will be coming up soon, but he has been actually playing incredibly well, so he's going to get a little bit faster again. If you've been dominant, you get rewarded. Simple as that. But there comes the Titan. This we want to see. Jericho, it's time to make up for those previous mistakes. Oh, Swifter. Swift. Oh, uh, it's got to, he took his time. He set him down. That's just cruelty. Yeah, but he, That's wait, just cruelty. he looked at him and was like, I'm just going to let you know that right now you are absolutely <laughs> screwed. And no matter what you do, I will destroy you. Uh, Jericho, though, is getting rodeoed here, and this is not looking good. Rodeoed by Big Star right now, and he's going to take off a decent chunk of health as well. So he has to be very mindful of this, as his Titan is way past the half health, half health mark. And again, it does take quite a skill, actually, which I know these players, once this comes out, once that tech test becomes available, these players out there who play time for one will know that kind of skill and ability of when to stick in towards staying in your Titan and when to actually take yourself out, remove that rodeoing guy who's on your back being a real pain, and then hop back in. It is about timing, it's about positioning, it's about knowing that I can take this one guy down and return to safety. However, these points are still up in the air. One team, the team that has the two Titans already out on the field, is still in the advantage. They have the upper hand. The points are getting amped up here. And the damage is coming in, and some Ooh. absolutely disastrous aim from Ali X Factor, bringing a bit of a talent towards that one. And yeah. already, not too much left on the clock now, but we you are going to see those times coming. You back can't bring you. that windmill aim to the table, you know. Not <laughs> not against X Factor. He'll punish you in a heartbeat. Uh, speaking of X Factor, here he's actually going to be using his charge beam, uh, looking to pick up a couple shots. And Jericho's already in, in in a world of hurt, so expect that Titan to go away very quickly. As we follow X Factor's POV and switch over here to Vicstar, who is on Scorch. And remember, guys, the Titans have unique abilities. Scorch, known for you know his, his fire abilities, the, whether it be the firewall or you know being able to to throw down the smoke grenade and then create an explosion in front. There's just a lot of really cool things that you could do with these uh, Titans. Yeah, and it's really good to deny areas pretty much towards the opposition to try and get up close and personal. Oh! The Golden Boy, it's not looking pretty here. That is not looking good. It is going to be a two-on-two -two Titan battle, though, as Vicstar does manage to get that termination against uh, Jericho's Titan. Sniper Wolf, though, not in a great position, taking a lot of shots there. Nade's now flying in. Titan right in front. Who's this going to be? Is uh, I believe Vicstar is going to have to back away. Now Darkness looking to do some damage here, trying to work with cartoons. Find Signfall oh, Legends in front, but that Vortex Shield is going to absorb quite a few shots there. Darkness also using Ion. So that means he will have that laser beam as well and is just waiting for the opportunity to use it. Keep in mind. The one thing we haven't seen much yet from these players, I think, because, you know, the pressure's on. They're, they're not in the clearest of minds here. But the movement that actually comes with these Titans, they are not sluggish. They have a lot of quick movement here. The strafing capability, you can see that blue bar still available. So, again, you could see a little bit of a quick play off the back of this. And I love seeing those Titan battles not going to connect, though. You can't pull that sort of stuff off. Again, that's what the movement allows you to do. Dodge, weave, dip, and duck. And you can actually do some real damage off the back of it. Not only is it the five rules of dodgeball, but it's also the rules of Titanfall. You know, dodge, duck, dip, dive, and dodge. So it makes a lot of sense here. This is not looking good. Oh, my goodness. That is horrible and just absolutely shredded. Cartoons does get the pick off there on Speedy. And sorry about that, buddy. Now over to Sniper Wolf as that will do it, folks. Game three in the books. But I have to say, it was awesome. Yeah, that was incredible to watch. As a fan of the FPS genre as a whole, this, this is good stuff. This is incredibly good stuff. They're still trying to make the mad escape or 
I guess, you know, their, their last ditch effort to try and make it out of here. The great escape, you might call it at this point, but with this much dominance, it's going to be tricky. However, they do have the Titans up, so they can make a bit of a battle on the way out. They can try and put a bit of a quick stand up on this one, but still not going to be easy to do in this situation. Uh, you know, I say fight, fight all the way, you know, like <laughs> just, just slug it out and get that, you know, get the small wins, get the small victories where you can. And there's the laser beam. Oh, my goodness. Swifter just gets absolutely shredded. That's unfortunate. X Factor, though, on the winning team. So for him, it doesn't really matter. Oh, no, Swifter! Get in there! Swifter, no! He, oh, never mind. He, he's, I, I completely forgot. When he missed it, I was like, Swifter, why? Please, why, why you do, you this? do this? But he, he was the one who was supposed to destroy. He didn't, though. And that will do it, folks. Congratulations to everyone who competed. Give them all a round of applause. Thank you so much, guys, for your time, effort, energy. Dodge, dip, diving, ducking, dodging. All that good stuff. It was yeah, great. it was pretty good. Let's be honest, that was pretty brilliant. Uh